Once upon a time, there lived a husband and wife who had been wishing for a child many years, but it had all been in vain. Finally, the woman became pregnant. Now, in the back of their house, the couple had a small window that overlooked a fairy's garden filled with all kinds of flowers and herbs, but nobody ever dared to enter that garden. One day, however, when the wife was standing at the window and looked down into the garden, she noticed a bit of wonderful Rapunzel. She had greed craving to eat some of the lotus, the, the lettuce, and yet she knew that she couldn't get any. So she began to, to waste away and looked wretched. Her husband eventually became horrified and asked what was ailing her. If I don't... Uh, wait, what? Okay, if I don't... Uh, <laughs> What's that? If I don't get any of that Rap Rapunzel from the garden behind our house, I shall have to die. Her husband loved her very much and thought, no matter what it costs, he's going to get her some Rapunzel. So, one evening, he quickly climbed over the light wall into the garden, grabbed a handful of Rapunzel and brought the lutis to his wife. Then she immediately made a salad and ate it with great zest. However, the Rapunzel tasted so good to her, so very good, that her craving for it became three times greater by the next day. Her husband knew that if she was ever to be satisfied, he had to climb into the garden once more, and so he went over the wall into the garden but was extremely terrified when he stood face to face with the fairy who ang angrily berated him for, for daring to come, to come into the garden and stealing her Rapunzel. Okay, he excused himself as best as he could by explaining that his wife was pregnant and that it had become too dangerous to deny her the Rapunzel. Alright, the fairy finally spoke, I shall permit you to take as much Rapunzel as you like, but only if you give me the child that your wife is carrying. In his fear, the man agreed to everything, and when he, his wife gave birth, the fairy appeared at once, named the baby girl Rapunzel, and took her away. <coughs> Rapunzel grew to be the most beautiful child under the sun. But when she turned twelve, the fairy locked her in a very high tower, locked her in a very high tower and had neither ah, that had neither doors nor stairs, only a little window high above. Whenever the fairy wanted to enter the tower, she would stand below and call out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> Rapunzel had uh, radiant hair as fine as pound gold. Each time she heard the fairy's voice, she unpinned her brights and wound them around a hook on the window. Then she let her hair drop 20 yards and the fairy would climb up onto it. One day, a young prince went riding through the forest and came upon the tower. He looked up and saw, a be saw the beautiful Rapunzel at the window. When he heard her singing with such a sweet voice, he fell completely in love with her. However, since there were no doors in the tower and no ladder could ever reach her high window, he fell into despair. Nevertheless, he went into the forest every day until one time he saw the fairy who called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. As a result, he now knew what kind of ladder he needed to climb up, to climb up into the tower. He took careful note of the words he had to say and the next day at dusk he went to the tower and called out, 
Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So, she let her, her hair drop and when her brides were at the bottom of the tower, he tied, he tied them around him and she pulled him up. At first, Rapunzel was terrified, terribly afraid, but soon the young prince pleased her so much that she agreed to see him every day and pull him up into the tower. Thus, for a while, they had a merry time and enjoyed each other company. Others company. <coughs> the fairy didn't become aware of this until one day Rapunzel began talking and said to her, Tell me, ma mother Gothel, why are my clothes becoming too, too tight? They don't fit me anymore. <laughs> oh, you godless child, the fairy replied. What's, what's this I hear? And she immediately realized that she had been betrayed and became furious. Then she grabbed Rapunzel's beautiful hair, wrapped it around her left hand and a few times picked up a pair of scissors with her right hand and snip snap the hair was cut off. So she cut off her hair. Afterwards, the fairy banished Rapunzel to a desolate land where she had to live in great misery. In the course of time, she gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. On the same day that the fairy had banished Rap Rapunzel, she, she fastened, fastened the bride that she had cut off to, to the hook on the window, and that, that evening when the prince came and call out. Uh, so the, the fairy took the place of the Rapunzel to lure the prince. And that evening when the prince came and called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. She let the brides down, but when the prince climbed up into the tower, he was astonished to find the fairy instead of Rapunzel. Do you know what do you know, you villain? The angry fairy said, Rapunzel is lost to you forever. In his despair, the prince threw himself from the tower. He escaped with his life, but he lost both eyes. Sadly, he wanted he wandered around in the forest, eating nothing but grass but grass and roots, and did nothing but weep. Some years later, he made his way to the desolate land where Rapunzel was leading a wretched existence with her children. When he heard her voice, it sounded familiar at first, and then he immediately recognized her. She, rec <coughs> she recognized him too and embraced him. Two of her tears fell upon his eyes. Then his eyes became clear again, and he could see as usual. So, this is one of the original fairy tales about Rapunzel, though there are many more and much more interesting versions of it. So, this is for today, next fairy tale on the next Thursday. <laughs>